it's really special, you know. Um, we're a broadcast, and we, um, I think we're all interesting people in our own right, so. It's great, we, you know, going into our seventh season, it's nice to be honored for anything. So we've been on for a while now, and for people to keep noticing us, it means a lot. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, I feel like I am living my dream job, and this is just icing on the cake. It's uh, I'm very grateful. You never expect this. You know, you work real hard, but you never expect this kind of a reception from an audience. And, and uh, it's humbling, it's wonderful, and it's really thrilling to see fans that care that much about what you're doing. It's an honor, and I love what we've been done with it, you know, and putting it out to movie theaters. And, uh, you know, we fully understand that the reason we're still here is, is first and foremost, the fans. Not even first and foremost, entirely and solely the fans. I, I'm, I'm pretty excited, I'm a little nervous, but but uh, I'm friends with the whole entire cast and I'm friends with the producers, I've known them all forever. Johnny Glick is one of my oldest friends. So when they asked me to do it, there was no way I could say no. So I mean, we're gonna have a good time. I think it's the characters and the actors that people love so much. I mean, it's like, you put a bunch of physicists and you make a comedy about it, what? But it works because it's them, they're amazing. Every single person in the cast is just fantastic. Great writing, <laughs> um, great writing and a really nice slow pace. Um, Chuck Lorre has said watching our shows like watching paint dry. Um, not a tremendous amount happens and not a lot has to happen and I think that allows for um, some good longevity. You know, I think we've never seen these characters before, which is what I think, what drew me to the show before I was on it. It's a group of underdogs and I think we could all relate to being an underdog at some point in our life. Even if we're not necessarily a science nerd, I think we all have a side of us that is nerdy in some way. I think the characters are, are passionate. Their they're, they're passionate, they're passion happens to be about the sciences, but um, the passion in any form is, is attractive, it's appealing, it's, dare I say, sexy. The characters from day one have been, you know, they're outliers. They're, they're hopefully not the norm. And, um, and in some ways that's a real blessing for them, you know, whether it be their geniuses or whatever, but um, in many, many ways, and I think this is where they're identifiable, uh, it's, it's a bit of a curse for them, you know. It makes life difficult to get through. And I think that quality is a big draw for viewers. Who do you think on your show is the most like their, their character? Um, I don't know if that would be a compliment to anyone, so I'm going to say me. Oh my goodness, everyone's really different from their character. I would have to say Mayim is the most like her character just because she's also a PhD. Wow. You know, there are no physicists on the show, really. Um, so, you know, that's a tough question. Well, Mayim is the real deal. Yeah, okay, I, I, Mayim's the real deal, but she's much hipper than what she's playing. Oh boy. It really depends on the episode. It depends on the storyline that week. I'll get in trouble if I say any more than that. It used to be very, I don't know if it was easy, but it was more fun to answer who's like their care, who's most like their character early on. The longer we've gone on, the more I feel like nobody is like their character anymore, you know? Yeah. Which is kind of funny because you think you've become more like your character, but I don't know, you know. Six years on, we've gotten older, you know. We're all older than our character. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm older than my character. <laughs>